Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, I will be helping you to fix the Wi-Fi not showing on your Windows 10. Now what happened when you try to connect to the Wi-Fi and you click on the network icon at the right hand corner, the Wi-Fi option doesn't show up here. Even when you go to the settings and click on network and internet, the Wi-Fi option even doesn't show up here. Okay, so I will be sharing few best and the effective solution. And if you apply all of them, I'm very sure by the end of this video, your problem will be fixed. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. Now, the very first thing that I would recommend you that if you have any kind of laptop that contains the Wi-Fi key, then make sure it's not being disabled. Now, many times accidentally you press that key and due to which your Wi-Fi is not working. So look into your keyboard and if there is any kind of Wi-Fi key, make sure it's not being disabled. Next, what you have to do. Click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. The black window will be up. Now here we will ping the Wi-Fi network adapter just to clarify that there is not any kind of problem with the hardware. So it's very simple command. You have to type ping 127.0.0.1. Hit the enter key. And now here if you are getting the reply, that means there is no problem with the Wi-Fi hardware and we only need to move with the troubleshooting step. So here in the black window only, you have to type NETSH space WinSock space reset. Hit the enter key and the next command will be ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Again hit the enter key. Now you can close it. Next, click on your Windows search, type troubleshoot, then from the suggestion, click on troubleshoot setting. And here you have to click on additional troubleshooter. Now here on the very top, you will find the internet connection. Click on it, then click run the troubleshooter. Now this will try to detect the problem. And if it detect any kind of problem, it will let you know. And many times it automatically fix the problem. So just see that what kind of help you get from here. And then here only you have to scroll down and you will find the network adapter option. Click on it again, click the run the troubleshooter. Again, this will try to detect the problem and many time it will automatically fix it. So again, see that what kind of help you get from here and check back if the issue has been resolved. And in case if this doesn't work, then you can close it. Next, click on your Windows search again, type services. From the suggestion, click on services app. Now here in the services, you have to look for WLAN auto config. So scroll down to the W section and somewhere you will find WLAN auto config. Here it is. Once you get it, double click on it and make sure the startup type has been set to automatic and the status is running. If not, then select from the drop down to automatic and start the service. Now in case if it's already running, then you can click on stop. And then click on start again. Now click on apply. Click on OK. Close it. Next, right click on the Windows icon. Then from the suggestion, you have to click on device manager. The device manager will be up. Now here from the list of driver, you have to look for the network adapter. Double click on it. And here you have to look for the Wi-Fi adapter. So it can be by the name Intel Wi-Fi or the Realtek or the TP-Link. Whichever you get, make sure that it's not being disabled. But in case if you don't find it, then from the top menu option only, click on view. Then click on show hidden devices. And check back if you got your Wi-Fi adapter back or not. In case if it is still doesn't appear here, then again click anywhere. Then from the top menu option, click on action. And then click on scan for hardware changes. Once done, again you can check back. So now after applying this, you can see I got my TP-Link wireless adapter back. And I'm very sure my Wi-Fi should be showing up the wireless network. So again, if I click on the network icon, so you can see it's showing me all kind of available network. And even if I go back to my settings, network and internet, the Wi-Fi option is now showing up here. Okay, so you can also check back after applying these step. But in case still, if you have the issues, the next you have to also make sure that it's not being disabled. So you can make a right click on it. 
and make sure that the enable device is not showing up if it's showing the enable device it means it has been disabled and you will have to enable it next what you can do right click on your network adapter now keep in mind that this can be by the name intel realtek or the tp link so find the right wireless usb device right click on it click on disable device click on yes again we can right click on it and choose enable device once enabled you can check back again if the issue has been resolved if not then make a right click on it click on update driver click search automatically for driver if the update are available it will automatically update it if not then finally you will have to uninstall it so make a right click on it choose uninstall device again click on uninstall and this adapter will be uninstalled after this you will have to restart the computer and this adapter will be automatically reinstalled now i am shown that after applying all these solutions your issue will be resolved but in case nothing is working for you even the wi-fi is not showing in the device manager then finally you will have to go with the power flash so it's very easy if you're using a pc then you have to turn off the computer remove all kind of power cable any kind of external devices then you have to press and hold the power button like for 20 to 25 seconds after that reconnect all the cable and then start the computer again you need to do the same with the laptop you can remove the charger any kind of external devices then press and hold the power button for 15 to 20 seconds then connect all the adapter back and then turn on the computer this is the final step but the very powerful method and i'm very sure after applying all these methods your problem will be fixed so that's all guys for today hopefully after applying all these steps your problem will be fixed and if yes let me know in the comment section which method work for you and do not forget to like and subscribe till then take care bye bye